You know, dude, you know what you look like is a luchadore too. Nacho! <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of the AZM Barbershop. Today, we are at the barbershop, but we are not gonna be cutting hair. Today, we're gonna be talking about a service that they're offering at a lot of high-end barbershops nowadays that you usually think would only belong at a spa, which is the charcoal face mask. To explore this new trend today, we've got beauty expert Leanne Lin. Hello. And we've got Hooper for life, Nelson Chan. What it do? And uh, actually, you guys, we have to come clean. The barber shops did not start this trend. No. These peel off charcoal pore masks actually come from Japan. And everybody is making videos trying them. So I think a lot of guys are thinking like, yeah, I want to look good too. So I want to try it, but I don't want to just do it alone. So that's why it's best to probably do it with some friends for the first time. It's totally okay for guys to use these products. It's not just for women. Men with great skin are really attractive. Okay, you guys, we're at the AZM Barbershop and we are ready to show you the Peel Off Charcoal Pore Mask. Let's go. So we got four different products for you guys to try. Each one's gonna try a different one. This one is a $6 one from Daiso, very affordable. We got this $12 one. This is a $20 one. And this is a nose strip, but it's charcoal, 10 bucks. All right, so I got the cheap Daiso face mask. I'm not gonna wash my face. I'm just gonna apply it myself. Yeah, for everybody, don't get it in your eyes. Don't get it on your eyebrows, facial hair. I would concentrate on the T-zone, the forehead, nose, and cheeks, because that's where blackheads are gonna be. All right, that, that looks like straight up paint right here. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. It's super thick. I'm gonna start with my forehead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put a lot on. Oh, God, I got on my eyebrow. I got kind of thin eyebrows, guys. If I rip off my eyebrows, I don't know if I'll ever see them again, man. Yeah, try to get it opaque so it's black. Like a thick enough layer so when you peel it off, it'll all come off at once. Uh, there's a big distance between my eyebrows and my eyes. This is not for everybody. I, I, I particularly have this. Uh, I want to put some in between, but maybe no, that's no. not a good idea. No. Okay, I will not <laughs> try to do that. So right now, I feel like I kind of look like one of those Chengdu opera masks. You know, you, you know what you look like is a luchadore too. Nacho! <laughs> All right, cool. I'm gonna let it dry. You guys gotta go do your mask. All right, what are the first steps? So, wash the face. face. So I got this light Japanese foaming face wash from Takashima, and I like it because it's easy to use. So we're gonna put some moisturizer on you because some of these pore masks hurt if you have sensitive skin. So we don't know how sensitive your skin uh, is. That's me, that's me. I have uh, sensitive skin too. Everyone's skin is different, so do some research on your skin type and find out which products are the best for you. So I'm gonna squeeze this onto my hand, use this brush to apply it, and then we're gonna let it dry. Did you do makeup for the Adidas commercial? Very little though, you know, powdered it up a little quick. <laughs> It's the same old, same old, same old. This is just like at the barber shop. Nah, they were getting the full treatment, man. <laughs> Except at the barber shop, they got the lever that they would like pull the <laughs> chair back. <laughs> it feels pretty nice though. Do you feel it? It's turning into venom, bro. Right? <laughs> So we're gonna do a DIY hot steamy towel. Since we don't have a towel warmer or a steamer, we're just gonna wet a towel and heat it up in the microwave. Make sure you test it before you slap it on your face. Yeah, you, know, you can do it at home, but it's cheap. So the heat opens up your pores, so you can get really in there and clean them out with the pore mask. Why are you putting moisturizer on David's face right now? I don't know how sensitive his face is. So you, so you can actually put moisturizer on prior to applying the peel off charcoal face mask. Yeah, absolutely. So David gets the fancy expensive mask, okay. the Chinese one. How's the viscosity look? Yeah, this one's thinner than the okay. Korean yeah. one. Hold on, hold on. While we're prepping this, I gotta see Will. Will gotta put on the nose strip. I've never tried these. I've seen a lot online. A lot of girls and guys do it, so I'm excited to try it. <laughs> I think a lot of people have always wondered what Bioi face masks would do not on the nose. All right, Leanne, would you recommend this? I would not recommend this, but I think it's probably gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, you guys. We're gonna check back in with you guys in about 10 minutes. All right, it is that time where I gotta take off my mask. I actually have pretty sensitive skin, so I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, okay, I feel it. Can you uh, hear it? How's it feel, man? Hold on, you gotta hear the mask. Uh. Oh. Get the middle beat, get the T-zone. Oh. <laughs> they look like yeah, little hairs. Fun. I feel like my, my skin can breathe now because I had the mask on for about like half an hour. So using toner is a really important step because the pores are wide open right now from being cleaned and we want to close it and protect it from future dirt and oil. So is that toner? Oh! <laughs> All right, Yo, so I, I'm up next, man. Oh, it hurt already. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking it like a champ. Does it, it hurt? No, no, it doesn't. It did it. Ooh, that one did. 
Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, you got a lot of whiteheads on that side. Like, Whoa. Yeah, my face feels really relieved right now. Uh, it was just like glue on my face. Now I have to like move stuff around. I actually feel my face is really smooth too, man. I can feel a difference. Okay, <laughs> that came she out of nowhere. So I got mask number three, which was the most expensive Chinese mask. So I guess we'll just peel from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Oh. Oh, the eye area, <laughs> delicate eye area. This one's delicate because it's thinner. I definitely think Nelson's mask was the so strongest because it clearly you know, like white holes or you know blank. It, it like ripped off like a layer of your skin. But it did this on a guy. Oh, got him! <laughs> like Catwoman up in here. We are not done. We did mask one, mask two, mask three, but we do not have the improvised Biore face strip mask. Oh my God. Uh, that's cool. Maybe Leanne can help. Leanne, Leanne can help. I definitely don't recommend this at home, but they want to do it, so we're gonna try it. Yeah, All right. It looks pretty badass right Feel now. Feel it! Oh, I love it. All right, let's see. Let's, <laughs> let's take a look at the cheek ones. Okay, so uh, the cheek ones, yeah, both of them what? Just dry skin? Dry skin. Go for the forehead. Forehead. It's okay. Rip it. Rip it. Oh! Dry skin. A lot of dry skin. A lot of dry skin. No yeah. hairs, too. Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah, I got it. Nothing, nothing. Nah, uh, nah. Oh, yeah, that right side. <laughs> that right side. The nose, I felt it a little bit, like the peeling and the cleaning. And that's why I was like, pretty smooth. Oh! <laughs> I God, saw it too! You know <laughs> Alright you guys, that does it for our peel off charcoal face mask challenge. You know us, we're really into streetwear and all the brands and stuff like that. But to be honest, you can't spend that much money on your gear and zero dollars on your skincare. If you got Yeezys on and your fits looking nice, but then you're not taking care of your skin, that doesn't make a lot of sense either. In the comment section below, number one, make sure you let us know if you have ever used a peel off charcoal face mask. And number two, let us know in the comments below if there's any other male hygiene or skincare products that you'd like to see us try at the AZM Barbershop. Number three, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think needs to try this out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking out that video. Shout out to beauty expert Leanne. Shout out to Hoopin' Live, Nelson Chan. We're the Fun Brothers, and until next time, we're out. Peace. So thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun trying this with you guys. So I know sometimes guys are hesitant to try new beauty products or things that they're not familiar with. So I hope this took away some of the mystery. Please check out my Instagram at Leanne507 or my YouTube channels at Hey Leanne and Leanne Lynn. Make sure to check out my Instagram, Nelly Nell Chan, and my YouTube channel, Hoop and Life, where Hoop and Life is life. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Will. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on my Instagram at @zero_will. And uh, shout out to Queens, New York. What other products do you guys want us to try? Peace. Peace.